I let's not get started on my face, how I look, all that stuff, which is my inclination. Every video I basically started like that because I look at my reflection in the camera. Let me look away because for the last five years, I've been a refugee and running for my life because of what I chose to do. Okay, and let's leave it at that. So I looked like crap on my entire five years and here I am, I feel, you know, like I lost my youth. I have been trapped for three of it in a fucking violent Iranian terrorist cell. I was so good at what I chose to do that they, I can't speak or explain. I have no words anymore. No, they fucked me up in here. Anyways, long story short, they got me in here. And ever since then, I've been fighting for my life to survive. Um, and I still chose to do what I did before I moved in here, right in this very terrorist cell I am right now, still doing so. My hair is a little white because I did a blue treatment. I haven't been able to do anything like that for five years. It's shocking and frightening how many years I have not had the life I used to have. Not even an iota of it and or whatever the word. Sometimes I do start to panic and think, will I ever have a home again? What is going to happen to the rest of my life? And that's when Jesus says, you know what? Just keep doing what you were doing because that's what I want you to do. Take it as a vow of poverty which I still love the Catholic religion because of all the angels. If I ever get to speak to nice people, I'd love to chat about that. I absolutely love the churches and stuff like that. It's, it's so tragic that they literally started chasing me out of the Basilica in DC. I started getting chased out of the Catholic church. But I started saying in the United Kingdom when I was there that Iran was in the Catholic Church, that the Pope was behind another fascist Nazi. It's the same copy, but this time neo-Nazi, Nazi uprising in Europe, just like World War II. So they started chasing me out of the Catholic fucking churches. The Basilica here is one of the main ones, okay? It's of no surprise they did that shit to me. I also documented it before I went to the United Kingdom. It's on my Twitter for Mossad and GRU and CIA who are on top of it. I remember that day, it was really frightening. It was one of my first experiences with the high level Mexican military. There was two uh, hired hit guys, Mexican, Hispanic, all the way. Uh, not with the mustache western lurking, that's more cartel. They were there because I was tweeting, I was going on my way there, I drove, I used to have a car, all those things I used to have. Um, I went to pray and they were there and I spotted them because I'm, 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 I have an ability. And they knew I spotted them and there was a scene in there. I didn't do anything. They made the scene, they got all nervous. If anyone ever wants to talk to me, I'd love to tell you what happened that day at the Basilica. But the freaking church was covering for them. The Basilica itself. So I, I sit here so many Sundays inside of an Iranian terror cell, six blocks from the White House. And I think, what kind of sons of bitches go to church in DC? Um, God's not having this anymore. That's why this time with World War III, which started on US soil here, all the military knows it. A lot of these churches have to get struck with missiles because they're using the churches, the schools and all this stuff, very mu Middle Eastern terrorist fashion. They're using that as their uh, hubs, their hubs for, I can't find word. You're gonna have to lay off me on that. I hope that um, I don't sound funny because I don't think anyone's expecting me to do that. It's just defensive. I have a character flaw. All right. I don't have words, so I get upset and then I become defensive and I know I'm just the one doing it. It's a character flaw, no one's perfect. Why I'm filming this is I must say, I must say before I black 
when it goes black and I forget because I'm traumatized. My memory gland is kind of toast. What was it? Let me just bring it back. I'm so glad I got, excuse me, everything else off of my chest. Here it is, God brought it back to me because it's so important that I say this. The violence that this woman, the murders that this woman, this radical Muslim violent terrorist that you see going out all the time onto the public streets, the violence that she's engaged in, the gruesome, violent, felony crimes, hebus corpus, as soon as they get in here, the good cops, it's toast, they're both going in. There's no suspect, nothing. The violence this woman, I have witnessed her over and over again, be engaged in is so horrifying that she goes out on the sidewalks. God really wants me to say that. And he wants to say, this is why our constitution was rewritten. It's already been rewritten. Thank you. This is why this can never happen again, ever, ever again, anywhere. All right, I'm okay in here, by the way. I'm gonna say goodbye, I don't wanna look at myself anymore. Jesus told me last night, when I get out of this hostage situation, being trapped in a room, I, I'm trapped in here. I'm not going to get into details because he says don't talk about it too much because it's too dangerous. Um, the details, okay, of what it's like to be trapped and things like that. Just don't. All right. I know I'm, I sound very brask and grouchy. When I get out of here, I lose five pounds right away just getting the water. When you're trapped, you just swell up like a little balloon. I have five pounds just like that. I love that. And he says after 10 weeks, I'll lose like another 10 yeah i know that's really great because i know how to do all the culinary uh food preparation and i have control over all that the portions and all that i don't do portions no i don't want to i'm five nine my my correct weight is 165 to 175 i don't need to do four ounces and, and be this uh concerned about eating dude i'm more relaxed about that in life but um, you need to eat proper foods that are good for you, which when I get out of here and I can talk to people, it's nothing that you haven't heard before, but I'm one of those people who really really wants to share this with others because the uh, food is poison and I, I don't have words. I can't get into it and we're getting a little bit off track here. But I eat from the source foods, all right? And I'm capable of cooking that. And um, I'm capable of cooking uh, many, many different diet uh, entrees as well. So the remaining 10 pounds should, oh, it's not should. I know it would be rather easy for me. And I don't, he said it before I went to sleep, he said I don't need to do a crazy crash diet. And he said not to do that because I've been through five years of traumatic events, war, and the rest of the public is going to know soon what that's about because it doesn't just happen to the agents. It doesn't just happen to me. It doesn't just happen just to a few people and we do all of this so you can keep shopping. No, dude, no, no, motherfucking idiots. I'm done, I have no respect for the United States. Well, there's some people and I know better than that. There's some people that are really nice. There's some really nice ladies on QVC and that David in the kitchen, is that his name? He's such a love. These are the Americans that were just They've got to be so scared that Mexican cartel took over their company. It's like La Crescent. Oh, you can tell too if you watch them. You got to watch the right uh, segments of QVC. You can see that crap. They just tyrannize their work. La Crescent's the same way. There's no way these people at La Crescent were out for genocide and another Nazi uprising in Europe. No, it only takes a, a handful. And I can't get sidetracked with that. 
But then they bring in their neo-Nazis and bring, bring more and more in and be, before you know it. These nice regular civilian Americans that I cannot then blast and say, all oh, Americans are wicked. And No, they are. My guidance from God, God, excuse me, I don't, my mouth has been what I've written and has been what I've written plenty for you to read over and over. Americans are swine, he calls them swine. And it's time. Never again will this happen on the earth. Let me close with that, all right? The Constitution has been re rewritten. Um, but as far as my weight goes, I've, I'm taking advantage of this. If it's my talk time. Look, I'm not supposed to be some great super scientist. Can you tell? I'm your average chick. And this is my closing statement. So you're right. My 10 pounds should be pretty easy to lose. And I don't have to do a high intensity diet because for one, the trauma, my body needs to regenerate and heal. The last thing I need to be doing, Jesus was right, is stressing it by doing a high intensity diet, which are totally cool to do. Um, but you have to be ready for that, your body does. And what I need to do is go ahead, get exercise, sweetheart. Walk down the street like you deserved this whole time to do without being harassed by uh, civilians throughout different states that have been in different states, which I put on my account over the years. And, you know, enjoy life, move around, do exercise, do what normal women do. Finally, you get to do this, okay? The weight will come off and don't do the uh, high intensity because it's gonna take probably, I would say half a year before my memory gland, everything's back like it should. I, I just think so. Oh, the chemicals? I see, I can't talk about that. The, the stuff they've been doing with the, under my bed and the chemicals, that, right, nope. The gas stuff, no. But this is taking an effect on me, yeah, so I need to recuperate. And having a high level diet, no, no. All right, so that's my closing statement. You should not be surprised. That's who I am and I can't be anything but who I am. All right, God bless America. God bless our uh, new flag. God bless our old flag. And thank you so much for rewriting our constitution and protecting all of us who are good here all of you and your families and the rest of the world from this kind of tyranny and outright thwarted violence and threats, constant threats of violence. If they don't get with it, rich white Americans. No, I'm not with you, dude. And you're not gonna prostitute me. That ain't why I'm losing the weight. So I'd be one of your hookers. This is finished here. I don't, don't get me started. It is so horrendous what happened here. All right, bye.